بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم سالار خان ہیئر اینڈ ٹو ڈے وتھ دا ففتھ بائسنگ کنفیگریشن اینڈ دیٹ از واٹ دیٹ از دی ایمیٹر فالوور کنفیگریشن دا ففتھ ایمیٹر فالوور کنفیگریشن سو واٹ ڈو وی ہیو ان دس لیٹ می فسٹ گیو دی کمپلیٹ ہیڈنگ آئی بلیو مائی رائٹنگ از اے لٹل سلو بٹ آئی ڈونٹ نو ہاؤ ٹو یو نو فاسٹ این اٹ اپ Anyways, it doesn't matter. So in the emitter follower configuration, the output is taken from the emitter terminal. The, the signal, the input signal is applied the same at the base terminal. Whereas the output is taken from the emitter terminal. And we have what? We have another supply over here and that is a negative. That is negative with respect to the ground. That is a negative VEE. Right? The VCC that we used to take till now, that is not present. That has been grounded. VCC is not here. We have a base resistance. Yes, we have. So we have a base resistance and that is also, you know, that was connected to the, to, to the VCC so that is grounded. So, so which means the base resistance is grounded as well. So this is about the circuit. This is your base resistance RB. This is your emitter resistance RE. You don't have a collector resistance over here. We are considering an NPN transistor. What do you have? The input signal is applied where? It's applied at the base. The same manner. Input signal is applied at the base. But the output, instead of taking it at the collector, we are taking it at the emitter terminal. So that output capacitor would be present over here. So this is your V output. Fine. Yes. So what can we do? We are doing the DC analysis of the network. So we can do the DC analysis in which you, the, the, this would be uh, short circuited, right? Open circuited. The capacitor would be open circuited. Why? Because we, uh, we, we, don't, we do not have an AC signal over here. We are only studying the DC signal. So in DC, the capacitor acts as an open circuit equivalent. So which means what? That you have got the circuit, the IB would be the entering current. And similarly, you have IE. So I have not mentioned the currents. So IB is the current over here. And IE is the current over here. Is that fine? It is. So let us draw the, 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 the KVLs, right? So if you apply the KVL to the input loop, KVL to the input loop, what do you have? What do you have is, you have an IBRB, IBRB minus VBE plus minus a VBE, this drop of the forward bias diode. So minus VBE and then you have a minus IE RE and this is set equal to zero. Isn't it like this? Let me check. It is. No, 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 no. No, it is not equal to VE. Have, it is not equal to zero. Have a look. This is equal to a negative VEE. Negative VEE. Positive VCC means what? It's positive with respect to the ground. The ground will be acting as a negative terminal. A negative VEE means what? This is negative with respect to the ground, which means the ground will be acting as what? As a positive terminal. Yes? Yes. So from here, have a look. You can find out the value of IB. And also, if you don't have the value of IE, so you can put it equal to IE is equal to beta plus 1 times IB. You can put it as beta plus 1 times IB. So have a look, what do we have is, we will have an IBRB minus VBE minus beta plus 1 times IB RE plus VEE and this would be equal to 0. So which means you've got the, the value of what? You've got the value of the base current from here, which this would imply that IB is equal to what? IB is equal to uh, V, e, v, v uh, wait. IB we, we would take it to that side. Beta times beta plus one times R E minus R B. 
बीटा प्लस वन टाइम्स वट आर ई माइनस आर बी एंड एंड इन दी न्यूमिनेटर वी हैव वट वी ई ई माइनस वी बी ई डेवलप इज दिस फाइन वी ई माइनस वी बी ई एंड वी हैव अ प्लस साइन विद दिस वाई इज दैट Why do we have a plus sign? Because we have a plus sign over here as well. Why do we have a plus sign? Why do we have a plus sign over here? No, no, we don't have a plus sign over here. Where have I made the mistake? I B is equal uh, I B uh, negative I B R B. नेगेटिव आई बी आर बी सो आई हैव अ मिस्टेक समवेयर एंड दैट मिस्टेक इज वॉट दैट मिस्टेक इज विद दिस दिस आई बी आर बी दिस हैज टू बी नेगेटिव साइन वाई बिकॉज दिस इज अ वोल्टेज ड्रॉप दिस इज अ वोल्टेज ड्रॉप राइट यस सो नेगेटिव आई बी आर बी है लक सो दिस वुड बी नेगेटिव आई बी सो दिस वुड कम आउट टू बी पॉजिटिव and now this is fine now this is fine so we've got the value of ib you can calculate ic with the help of this ic would be what ic would be beta times ib plus icb or whatever it is so that we are uh, mostly not given and mostly we're not interested in that if you are given you have to add them up with this thing ie you can find it from this relation again now for vce so the output voltage is vce so for that you would have to apply the kvl in the output loop so that would be just simply what negative vce uh have a look so this is again a plus to minus right the same plus to minus this is at a minus terminal so the ground would be at a plus terminal so this would be your vc e so have a look now the kvl to output loop kvl to output loop states what this states what you have a negative vc e and then you have a negative iere and you have what is equal to minus of vee so this implies what you've got the value of your vce vce would be equal to vee minus iere now in the examples you would you would be considering only the magnitude of this vee for instance this is a negative 20 volts so you would not put over here a negative 20 you would only be putting the 20 volts why because the negative sign we have already included in the kvl equation in the main kvl equation you will only be putting what you will only be putting the magnitude of it right so let's say let's say we are given what uh, we are asked to determine the q point the example is example 4.16 so example 4.16 states what the same figure is given the same figure is given what do you have vceq and ieq are to be determined so have a look vceq and ieq so these are the coordinates of the q point now for this configuration this is what configure this is an emitter follower configuration and also this you can say is a common collector configuration this is also a common collector configuration so you know for the common collector what is the input what is the output right so the output is at the emitter terminal so which means the output would be the ieq right and you know the output voltage is again we see so the output characteristics are what it's ie versus vce okay not this time ic why because ic is not present over here that was for the common emitter configuration right for the common collector the output current is ie right yes so first of all the value of beta is given 90 given is what given is beta which is 90 uh this rb is given 240 kilo ohms RB is 240 kilo ohms. Then what do you have? RE is given, which is 2 kilo ohms. RE is 2 kilo ohms, and VEE is given, which is a negative 20 volts. Let's get to the solution. Let's get to the solution. So have a look. What do you have? You need to to find IE. So for that, uh, you would need IB first. You would need IB first, right? Yes, you would need I B first. Yes, 
Why? Because IE is beta plus 1 times IB. IE is beta plus 1 times IB. So, have a look. You are given beta, but you, know, you do not have IB. So, IB you can calculate from this value. So, IB would come out to be what? IB. This would be equal to VE minus VBE. So, have a look over here. You would not be taking a, a negative 20. You would only take 20. Why? Because I told you the sign we have already included while applying the KVL equation. Right? And then you have what? Beta plus 1. So, this would be a 91. Beta plus 1 times RE. 91 times 2 kilo ohms. And then plus RB. And RB is 240 kilo ohms so ib comes out to be what i will just write it from here it is 45.73 micro amperes 45.73 micro amperes so this would mean what that ie is beta plus 1 times ib so this would be uh, 91 times 45.73 into 10 to the power negative 6 and IE comes out to be what? 4.16 milliamperes. 4.16 milliamperes. And similarly, you can find out VCE. So VCE would be what? VCE would be what? Uh, VEE -E minus IERE. -E. So VEE -E is 20 minus IE is what? 4.16 into 10 power negative 3. RE is what? 2 into 10 power 3. So VCE comes out to be 11.68 volts. So 11.68 volts. So which means the coordinates of the Q point. So the Q point is what? Your Q point is this. VCE Q that is 11.68 and uh, and IE, so that is 4.16 milliampere. So, so this is your answer. So this was just a shorter video, just uh, uh, what? A very short video. We did not go into the very detail because these are not that commonly used. The commonly used configurations were the previous one that we we discussed. The common emitter configurations and the most widely used and a stable one is the voltage divider configuration. So over here we did not discuss the stability factor as well. The stability factor you know is given by uh, S is equal to one um, plus beta I believe divided by one minus. Uh, a beta times the derivative of IB with respect to IC something like this yes something like this or what let me let me just confirm isn't it like this 1 plus beta over 1 minus beta times yes so for the derivative of IB with respect to IC you do you take this or this equation and you do the same thing and then you put the values we are not interested in that we are not interested over here in that right yes so I believe that is it. The book has written just this about it. Just a simple, just a simple what? We don't have a VCC. You have a VEE in place of that. And, 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 and what is the case? The rest is the same. The output is taken across the emitter. The input is applied across the base. You have the emitter follower configuration. This is the common collector configuration. We saw just a simple example. You, you, you just need to know the KVL to the input and the output loop. That is it about it. That's all about this video. See you in the next one very soon. Till then, take care. Goodbye.